Go. Hi, I'm Debbie the Wine Lady, and I'm hot as hell. Or at least I would be if I weren't standing in this pool. That's because it's a cool 106 here today. So you have to protect yourself with things like a nice pool in your backyard and some great white wine. Okay, we're talking about 100 degree wines today. You can see that the stuff I have in front of me is nothing but white. If you're one of those people who says, oh, but I have to have only red wine, then you're going to have to stay inside because it just does not work in this heat. What works in this heat is a white wine that's crisp and clean. I think, I think oak is not, is, should not be a factor in summertime 100 degree whites. Oak is too heavy. It coats your palate. And the richness and the malolactic and everything else they do to oak wines adds to that heaviness. So forget your oaky Chardonnays. Leave those for when you're having dinner inside. Okay. What have I got here today? I started out with some Sauvignon Blanc. That's a classic grape. Everyone knows Sauvignon Blanc. It's grown in many parts of the world. I've got a California, a Napa Valley Sauvignon Blanc first. I kind of enjoyed this one, but to tell you the truth, I find with a lot of California Sauvignon Blancs these days, they're leaving them a little bit of sweet, which I don't think belongs in a white wine or a, Sauvign or a summer white or a Sauvignon Blanc for that matter. So. This is another style of Sauvignon Blanc that we really, really like. This one is made in Chile. Chile, New Zealand, both Southern Hemisphere countries, they both have that same style in their Sauvignon Blanc. It's like pink grapefruit and lime. It is so crisp, it is so acidic that it's as refreshing as can be. Any kind of Southern Hemisphere Sauvignon Blanc, Montez is a good brand, anything from New Zealand, no below, they're all great, great summer whites. They will quench your thirst. Next, I've got an Italian white wine. Okay, this one is a Pinot Grigio, but you've probably seen other Italian whites with names like uh, Orvieto and Verdicchio. All of the Italian whites have that same crisp, citrusy, typically they're a little bit more flinty and minerally. So again, they're gonna be really clean on your palate, really dry, not a touch of sweetness to them at all. They work in almost any kind of 100 degree situation. Okay, look at this one I got on the end. It's almost clear in the bottle, isn't it? This is a wine called Vino Verde. Vino Verdes are from Portugal. And you know, before I go any further, I'm gonna do something that might shock a few of you kind of purists out there. What I'm doing is tossing ice cubes in my glass. Yes, ice cubes. Now, I do that because this particular wine, Vino Verde, is light and spritzy enough that it reacts beautifully to ice cubes. Vino Verde means wine green, literally. Green wine, not in the sense of being uh, like organic, but in the sense of being young. Vino Verdes are the very first whites that come off the vineyards every spring. They come out in the spring. You'll see them, uh, you should drink them uh, in the spring and the summertime, and then they're basically gone. Forget about them until next year. So you want one with a real current vintage like 2010, and they're cheap. This one's under 10 bucks. You know, you can afford to put ice cubes in your glass when the wine's under 10 bucks. Okay, why do I like this so much? I told you it was kind of really light and clean. And it's, oh, it's got that real kind of, again, lemon and lime, no. Oh, wow. That little bit of spritziness, along with that really cold, cold, cold thing from the ice, makes it almost like a wine cooler. Uh, if any of you were alive and drinking wine in the 80s when I was, when I first started, you remember we made these things called wine coolers with white wine, soda water, ice, and like lemons and limes, all that kind of stuff. That's what this tastes like. And the thing is, because it's not pure wine, because it's cut, it's diluted with, with uh, soda water or ice, you can drink it in this heat for all afternoon, and you're not going to have to be carried into the house afterwards. Um, final tip, your freezer. These wines, you can't get them too cold. Before you bring them outside, throw them in the freezer compartment, not just the fridge. They can be there for, oh gosh, probably an hour, at least an hour before they're actually going to freeze on you. Believe me, I've frozen bottles in the past. It doesn't kill them. You know, unthaw them the next day and, and use them then. So, 100 degree whites. Remember, stay in the pool, use your freezer, use ice cubes if necessary. And cheers, guys.